What's up guys? Today we're learning how to add tens numbers together. This is a stage four strategy. Uh, not particularly hard, but what we do need to master is skip counting in tens. So if you don't know how to skip count in tens yet, go practice until you know it off by heart, until you can do it as fast as this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Once you're ready to do that, you're ready to move on with the strategy of adding tens numbers. Let's get started. Okay, these here are place value houses. And if I gave you a number like 36, you actually can write it inside the place value house. And it immediately tells us how many tens, T is for tens, and how many ones, O is for ones. If I was to draw this number 36, I would have to draw three lots of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's three lots of 10 and six ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 6. That's how I'd draw this number 36. So we can tell very quickly that the 3 in 36 is worth way more than the 6 in 36. Even though you might think that 6 is a bigger number, you know, 6 is bigger than 3, when 3 is in this square of a, of a, tens, um, of a number house, place value house, it's actually worth, it's not worth 3 anymore, it's actually worth 30, which is what these 30 down here are. Okay? So we need to be able to separate the tens from the ones. This is really important, especially as we move into some stage five strategies. We need to know the difference between the tens and the ones. Over here in the other one, uh, we've actually got an extra column. Now we've got three. If I put 36 in this, 36 in this one, it would look like this. But over here we've got a hundreds column. For example, I can have 136. All of a sudden, that one is worth way more than the six or the three because it's worth a hundred. So if I was to draw this number, well, that would take me a long time. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 100. Right? So we've got 100 there. Then we've got our 30, which is the same as over there, so I won't draw it. And our 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So the, the place that the number holds in the place value house determines how much it's really worth. That 1 right there, is worth way more than the three and the six put together, okay? Because it's in the hundreds column of our place value house. We need to know how to do this first. If you don't know how to do this, go and master these place value houses before you move on to the next slide. Okay, we're on to the next slide, so let's, let's assume that you've practiced some of those skills and you're ready to go. Here we've got Bob and Mary. Now, Bob has got $20, $20. Bucks. He's pretty rich. And Mary has got $50. She's even richer. We want to we find out how much money they have if they put their money together. Now, this is where we need to know how to skip count in tens. There are two ways to do this. Both are very easy. I always like to add from the biggest number first, which in this case is 50. So my maths problem, my adding problem, my equation is going to be written 50 plus 20. 50 plus 20. Now, there are two ways, like I said before, of solving this. We can use skip counting, first of all. I'm going to skip count from 50 two more times. So let's go 50, 60, 70. There we go. I've skip counted on more. How I've actually done that, if I imagine a number line, here's 50 on my number line. And I know that in increments of 10, here they are here, I can count. So 50 and 10 more is going to be 60. And 10 more after that is going to be 70. So I've counted on 20 from 50 using skip counting in 10s. That's the first way I could solve that. The second way is a little bit different. Just rub that one out. This way is my personal favourite, but you might like that way more. When we're adding two digit numbers that just have zeros on the end, we can actually just pretend they're one digit numbers. So if I just pretend, rather than writing, well, 50 plus 20, if I just pretend that the zeros aren't there, just cross them out for a while. And now we've got 5 plus 2. Now 5 plus 2 is easy. 5 plus 2, 5, 6, 7. The answer is 7. And now all we have to do is put those zeros back on. Put the zero back on that one, put a zero back on that one, and a zero on this one as well. And all of a sudden we've got the same answer, 70. 50 plus 20 is 70. Now that's nice and easy. 
practice that one. There's some example questions on the last page to help you. The next page is a little bit more tricky. Let's have a look. Okay, now this time Bob has got a $50 note and a $2 coin. How much money does he have altogether? Work it out. 50 plus 2. Hopefully you've worked out that Bob has got $52. $52. 50 plus 2 is 52. If you got 70, remember that a 2 is only, the $2 coin is only worth the 1s, whereas the $50 note, that's in 10s. 52. And over here we've got Mary. Mary has a $20 note and a $10 note. 20 plus 10. Mm, work that one out. How much money has Mary got? Hopefully you've got $30. $30. Because 2 plus 1 is 3, so 20 plus 10 must be 30. Now if we want to work out how much money Bob and Mary have together, we have to solve 52 plus 30. Now this one's not quite as easy as before because last time both of the numbers ended in a zero. Whereas this time only one of our numbers ends in a zero, the other one ends in two. So all of a sudden we're not going to just be able to use skip counting as easily. Still do it, not too much more of a problem and I'll show you how. Once again there are two ways. Here's the first way. We draw our number line and we put on 52. Now we need to plus 30 so we're going to use skip counting in 10. And we're going to put in our increments, 10, 20, and 30. There we go. And we're going to skip down 10 from 52. That's a little bit more tricky than just going 50, 60, 70. But it's actually very easy. We just remember the 2 each time. So 52 will become 62. 52, 62, 72, 82. There we go. 52, 62, 72, 82. We've skip counted three times. And we've plussed 30, and our answer is 82. That's the first way to do it, using skip counting. The other way, just like before, we can do this a little bit differently. Right, once again, let's just pretend for a second that that 2 isn't even there. Pretend it's not there. Pretend it was 50 plus 30. 50 plus 30 is easier. 50 plus 30, let's just solve 5 plus 3. Because again, we can pretend those zeros aren't there. 5 plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. And now all we have to do is put those zeros back on. A 0 over there, a 0 over there, and a 0 after there. But now we need to remember that too. We can't forget about that too. All we have to do is pop that 2 into the answer in a place value house. Now we're not going to put it in the wrong spot because at the moment we've got 80 in our place value house and it was a 2, it's, it's in the 1's column over here. So it needs to go in the 1's column in our place value house. I'm going to rub out the 0 and I'm going to replace it with the 2. 82, we've got the same answer using both strategies. Personally, for problems like this, I prefer using the skip counting strategy rather than trying to remember to put that 2 on at the end. It gets a bit confusing. Okay, hopefully you've got that mastered. If you haven't, go back and re-watch the video until you understand. Um, or you can come and ask a buddy for help, find a buddy to help you. If you think you're ready to move on to some practice questions, move on to the next slide. Here we go. Radio, here's our practice questions for the day. If you're wanting some easier ones, you'll notice all of these ones, they all end in zero. So that's a little bit easier. If you're after something a little bit harder, you're ready to test yourself with those second level questions. These ones have only got one number that ends in zero and one number that doesn't end in zero. Okay, so they're a little bit more tricky. Give it your best, pause the video here and have a try. Good luck.